Hello, everyone, and welcome to Art with Roseanne. Um, this week is winter in July, so it's kind of silly to think of it being winter when it's so hot out. So our first project today is painting on tin foil. So what I've done is I have a nice big piece of tin foil, and I taped it onto a baking sheet. I like to do this because if the paint goes off, then you have a surface to catch it. It's not all over your table. And then when you're all done, you just wash the baking sheet. Um, so you want to tape it down really good so when you paint, it doesn't slide or move around. And then I have three colors of paint. I have white paint, I have dark blue, and I have a lighter blue. Um, when I do color mixing, I like to do kind of the same shades of the same color, di sorry, different shades of the same color, or cool colors like blue, green, and purple, or warm colors like red, orange, and yellow. They just mix together really nicely, and you don't end up with a brown mess, but that's okay to end up with that as well. Um, this is a process art project, so this project's more about the process itself than the product. So what you're experiencing while you're doing it, using your senses, um, and you will usually end up with a cool end painting as well. So let's get started. Let me change my view so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, perfect. So we have our tray, we have our paint, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna have little short brushes, which are easier for little hands. And I'm gonna add some white. Maybe you can pretend you're ice skating, or it's snowing, and the snow is blowing back and forth. Go around and up and down. And lots of snow to our painting. And then let's see. Let me get some dark blue paint. And you can, ooh, look at this. You can dot it on. You can slide it around too. Oh, look what's happening. Turning a lighter blue when we mix it with the white. That's pretty cool to watch. Make a lighter blue. And let's see if it's okay over here. Slide it around again. And I'm just making lines if you want to make animals or people. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to try something a little silly. There we go. Sorry, we froze. Um, I'm gonna use my finger and see how that feels. It's pretty cool. I'm making a big trail. So fun. So again, you can do this as long as you want to. And you can always get a new sheet and start over if you want to try some different colors. All right, so I've always found that it's kind of tricky to save this kind of project because the foil is really crinkly and when the paint dries, it sometimes crinkles off. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a print. So I have a nice piece of white paper. I'm going to Lay it right on top of my painting. I'm going to rub it. Cut it. And 
Beautiful. So we're gonna make a print of our photo print. Oh my goodness, this looks so cool. Look at that. The lines I made with my finger really came out. Looks really awesome. So again, You can do this as many times as you want. That's the fun part of it. You can wipe it off with a wipe or you can just peel it off, throw it away, and get a new piece of foil. Um, it's just really fun to experiment with and see what happens. All right, I hope you enjoy. Bye.